Today, I want to walk through a simple concept when you're entering text online, and that's between a hard return and a soft return, and how using this, you can play a lot with spacing and get things a lot tighter and looking how you want. Let's get started. So as you've entered text online, as you're typing things through, you'll often just hit enter and you'll get into the new line, not a problem. But there actually exists a slight difference, something called a soft return versus a hard return. And that's a big difference between having almost an extra space between the two and just sneaking it up as in just on the new line. Let me show you what I mean here and then how to invoke it. So if you have a bit of content here and we have this sentence. Now if I just simply press enter, it goes in as almost a new paragraph, like there's a little bit of extra space between it. However, if I do the same thing for this line instead, and I'll uh, bold it so we can kind of see where I'm gonna do it. If I press, sh if I hold shift and then press enter, you'll notice that it only goes one line down. And uh, in many ways, when you saw that first one, it looks like it jumps two lines down with some extra spacing. That's because that's ca called a hard return. And when you're working on the web, what, what's that doing is adding an extra tag around it where your theme's gonna add some CSS, some padding or some margin to add extra space. If you want to continually just have things go to the next line, next line, next line, by holding shift return, that's called a soft return, and that puts it just to the next line. So you can see that here, if I click here, I can just put that to the next line. And let's put this one to shift and goes just to the next line. And again, just to show the difference, if I bring this back up and then press just return, just enter with nothing else, you see it kind of jumps down. So that's fairly simple. The opportunities for us here is really to control the spacing. Let's say I really want to move down this middle sentence and add a little bit of spacing on the top and the bottom. On the top one, if I press shift enter, I can give just one new line to give a bit more space and same on the bottom. Another place you can see this useful is if you're actually dealing with a list. See so here, point one, two, three, and four. Every time you press enter, you're of course going to get onto the next bullet point, so point five. But what if I'd like to explain each of these a little bit more without having to have an extra bullet or even a sub bullet necessarily? If you press shift enter or soft return, you'll see it enters into a new line without a new bullet. This is about point one. And we can even style that differently to have it stand out. So by doing a soft return inside of a list, you can gain a bit more space. And you can do that for spacing if you want to have a bit of space between your bullets, or you can have extra information about that particular point. There it is, the best. And we'll make that italic just to see. So pressing Shift Enter, you'll notice less space. And that works across the web, um, although in different contexts. Now, for instance, inside of um, Google Docs and most likely Word as well, Pressing enter will give you a brand new paragraph or line to work with, right? However, pressing shift enter does the same thing, just grants it one line. And again, if I want to add some extra spacing, I can press shift enter around it and just control that little bit of spacing a bit more. Same too in Google Slides, shift enter acts differently than the rest. This is the second point. So you can see how understanding that will give you a little bit more control about your spacing as you're moving content around the page. Now, lastly, as you're participating on social media, this is Facebook, uh, Instagram, everything else, the real benefit of shift and then enter, and especially in this context, is it's gonna let you do new lines as opposed to just posting. Now, if I type something in and then press enter, it's just going to post. So actually I'll do that here. Maybe just delete it afterwards. That's my own, on my own Instagram account. However, I want to elaborate more, kind of space out my thinking or my thoughts. This was a great post. Now, shift enter or shift return. You can see now I'm actually entering content on multiple lines within it. Initially when I hit enter, it posted it, I was stuck. But now that I hold shift enter, a soft return, I can put more thoughts and then better format my comment wherever that's going online. If you watching. Right? And then in that case, if I hit enter, it's going to post as it. So the subtle difference between a hard return and a soft return, and the ability for you to use that to better lay out your content and control the spacing of where all the different lines start. So hope that's helpful, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers to your great looking work.